Hello everyone, welcome back to Himabindu Angulgur this channel. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I post DIYs and family vlogs on every Wednesdays and Saturdays. So if you don't want to miss that fun, just hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. And if you haven't already guessed, today's video is about my tiny backyard and the beautiful color blooms and vegetables that are started blooming and fruiting. I'll give you a quick update about what's going on in my backyard. You might have seen my previous video about how I redid my backyard and in that video I have shown you a few flowers that we planted at that time um, and I will give you a tiny bit of update on those plants in this video and also I will link the transformation of my backyard patio in the description link down below. Now without any further ado I will tour you my backyard and a glimpse of my front yard to see all the flowers that we just laid in the patches of friend and also to the side yard and also towards the backyard. This is our side yard and we have plenty of marigolds growing here and these are the orange color and this is the front side of our home. This will be like a tiny garage entrance and we have these white patches or white flower patches along with a bunch of these orange bulbs that I put right next to them and also those bushes um, I give gifts for all my family members these rose bushes that I get from Safeway and they give me tons and tons of flowers all year luckily and we have some issues with those roses for some reason there will be a huge aphids issue but other than that once we cure them we get plenty of roses these are all the sunflowers that we get a ton from one single plant and these are very very less in price to get i got these from dollar store and we had a huge success of getting these big sunflower plants i would say did you see how many flowers we got and the bees would absolutely love them after planting these we never had an issue with the pollinations for my other plants this is absolutely the gorgeous one but i highly suggest you to trim the tips so that you get plenty and plenty of branches from one sunflower plant you'll get plenty of birds and plenty of flowers did you see this guy this is the little chili plant that we bought it from facebook and we actually were tired of dealing with this one because this is getting attracted to lots and lots of aphids but now i put this guy right next to my rosemary plant and there is not even a single aphid that is even attracted so this plant is now full of fruit at one point we actually wanted to get rid of that but since it's fully matured, I just don't want to toss it out. So I plant it in a tiny pot. It's a half gallon pot actually, but still it is doing really well. And did you see that my Mary rosemary plant is right next to it? And they go both really well. This is the number of fruit that I'm getting per week, I should say. And also there are still lots and lots of flowers. And I'll tell you what, I also have the same type of chili plant planted on the ground which is not yielding as much as I am getting in the pot for some reason and we had experimented they both were the same age two years old but I'm still getting a lot and lots of fruit from this guy but not from the other ones these are my tomato plants that I planted on the ground 
it's been a while but this is before three weeks and i'll show you a short clip of after three weeks how it is actually i should say the day before i posted this video how it is and as of now i'm getting lots and lots of fruits and also i do have these bean plants right next to the tomato actually they're all sitting in the same spot which i have cucumber plant eggplants and also the uh, bulbs that i got from costco they're also in there but that plant for now is unfortunately dead because there's too much clumsiness going on in that small area and this is the present or i should say the day before that i shot when posting this video there is plenty of wines as you can see plenty of lovers in a month of uh, or i should say in the time of three months we're also growing these potatoes in the grow bags as well as in the plastic containers i planted some of them in the uh, five gallon pots and this i believe is a 12 or 10 gallon one uh, 10 gallon grow bag so i was able to harvest only one big potato and two small potatoes out of this grow bag but i am actually surprised to see the big sizes that i got from the plastic containers they're actually so many and even though if they are tiny i got plenty of them from the other pots as well so i'm actually surprised and next time i'm only going to plant all these in the plastic containers but not in the grow bags i but if you also notice that i experimented with two bags one is actually poked holes and i dropped it into the actual big bag where i was thinking to just lift the plant and then harvest it and then cover it back again but that was a too much of a challenge for me to uh, put it back or like the dirt back again so as you can see I am having a lot of issues to clean up the mess all over that place but this is the harvest that I was able to get from that grow plant or grow bag I should say but I got a good amount of harvest from the plastic small five gallon container so next time I'm only going to plant it in the plastic pots I also wanted to give you a close look of my eggplants which I had really really bad luck last year but this year I was able to see actual fruit and we were so happy to see this fruit and we we planted this in ground but last year we planted this in the pots but we never had a single eggplant to harvest from the plastic pots but we were able to get plenty this year when we planted it in the ground and also this grow bag is a charm which as you can see I have plenty of eggplants from that tiny plant we sowed seeds last year but we were able to get lots and lots of fruit this year in the grow bag as well as in the soil so something sometimes it works as a charm but not all the time one thing we need to do is don't give up keep doing what you're doing and be patient because it needs a lot of energy and it needs to adjust for the weather conditions also so happy gardening no matter what and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button